Good morning. Gosh, it says I was already six seconds in by the time I said good morning. So good morning, folks. Uh, let's see. We got about, I think, 15 orders. I think I said 14 in my title, but, but that might even be 16 orders. I don't know. I pulled everything, so we'll see as we go along. But uh, hey, good morning. Let's get jumped right into this. Let's do my Amazon order first. Um, I need a box. <laughs> I just replenished my my boxes over there, and as you can see, they're a little too tall. Um, where did I put the item? The eBay, because I think I got all that stuff pulled out first. Oh, here it is. This is what I sold on Etsy. Hey, good morning, Holly, Michelle, and Nissa. Uh, she's back and packing. I know I am. I was like, should I go live today? It's Tuesday. It's not Monday, but it is kind of like a business Monday. Uh, so I sold this right here. It is washi tape and it's by a brand, uh, Jan Davenport. I sold that on, which I was really happy to have a sale. Because I had to cancel a sale last week. I sold some roach, cockroach kits. And the person had ordered two and I only had one left in stock. It's like, oops. So I canceled. And it brought me down. My sales have been really low on Amazon. FBM. So it brought me down to a 50% cancellation rate. Because I had only had one other sale last week. All right. I'm looking for my... Wipe off this excess sticky I just took off. So I'm like, oh, I got to get some sales, bring that back up. Thankfully, whenever I've dropped down like that, there hasn't really been any repercussions with Amazon for me. I'm really thankful of that. So, how are your sales over the holiday weekend? Did you guys have a good sale weekend? I mean, mine was okay. Okay, not. Not stupendous, but I'm actually see any touch. Can't use eBay tape. Not really putting much into it lately. I'm not listing consistently except for weekends. I am listing every weekend. I did garage sale on Saturday just for a little bit. Not really much because we had rain in the morning. So we didn't even head out until about 10 and we were done by noon there wasn't a lot most a lot of them got canceled i think because of the weather um should i i don't think i need need to even my sister-in-law and brother camped with us this weekend and my sister-in-law brought me some of these ear pillow things which i love when people bring me those it was nice. They stayed with us in the camper, and all four of us went out garage sailing. And I guess I'll show you guys later what I got at the garage sale. So Anessa says her sales are crappy. My husband was fishing for crappy this weekend. That's one of the things that him and my brother did was went fishing. And on Saturday, why they fished? I and listed everything i think i only got one thing i didn't list yet and then i got some stuff from last week i was listing on thursday i think it was because i didn't get them listed all last week but some of them need to be washed there it was clothing items and then my husband i think is going to take a couple of the items i picked up Ooh, UPS ground, two ninety three or first class for three seven. Um, you know, somebody was saying how be careful of all those discounted rates from UPS because a lot of Amazon sellers have been getting um, price, you know, like chargebacks or adjustments or whatever they're called, have been getting like adjustments to their account for. Not, you know, if you don't weigh it right, if you don't measure it correctly, uh, I guess that's it. But gosh, you know, people who, who are saying they're getting these adjustments, like they know what they're doing. 
So I'm a little worried every time I use UPS now. I did go back and I didn't see where I've gotten any adjustments. And as some of you guys know, I've been, I mean, it's almost a dollar, like what, 80 cents difference? That adds up. Oh, this is only going right here to Syracuse, right down the road. Well, three hours down the road. I may have even purchased that in Syracuse. But I've had this. This that I sold, I've had this for a while. Like a few years. That was the last one of, of them that I had picked up uh, a few of them. So, great for sure. Yeah. Oh, I also want to say hi to Claudia. She's been watching me on replay. So, thanks, Claudia. Appreciate it. I'm happy to hear you're feeling good and that you are able to get out and about a little more often. It's actually, I like when people say, uh, sorry, I've been feeling really good. My health is better. Therefore, I'm not sitting home watching you. I'm okay with that. Although I miss people watching me live, but I'm happy that you're feeling better. Uh, so then Bonanza, we're going to go right into Bonanza. Who's on one of these eBay groups I'm on, people were saying how they were getting off in Bonanza. They don't get enough sales or getting off Bonanza. Why? Why get off Bonanza? There's literally no work to it. So this is just a uh, blanket with Mickey Mouse. I picked these up at Walgreens, gosh, a while ago, like maybe, maybe a year ago. Paid $6.99 for it, and I sold it for $11.69. So no big money there. Actually, it was buy one, get one free. So this was probably whatever. Seven. Oh, I probably should take the sticker off. I didn't see this price tag. So for Bonanza, what's nice is if you sell on eBay, you can import all your stuff to Bonanza for free. It doesn't cost you anything. Don't sign up for one of the accounts that costs you something. Don't do that. I've had people say that it costs them so much money to list on Bonanza. Don't. It's free. Do the free plan. Set it and forget it. You just list it and just leave it sitting there and things set a month of that maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe more than once, but at least one a month. Let's try to keep looking because I think there might be a deer in the backyard. It's grabbing my, my uh, attention. And Tony said that he saw a baby back there the other day. So I haven't seen the babies because they were just born. Um, let's use, I'll just use a poly bag. I don't really need to bubble wrap it, but I think it looks better when they get it. Hey, good morning, Jill. Good morning from Mississippi. Is that hot in Mississippi right now? Oh my gosh, it's been so warm here. I've been so sweaty. So I actually wore, I had a tank top on. And when I was setting up this show, I was like, I don't like how I'm looking with that tank top. So I went and I went to my active listings on eBay and I did a search for 2X because that's the size I wear for a top. And this shirt was listed for $10. And I said, well, I guess I'll just go pull it out of my in my unsold right now uh, i'll probably wash it and put it back up because it is it's too short for me so if i stand up mm, i'll probably turn around and then stand up so you don't see the front it is short i've got a longer torso and with my belly and everything That's probably why i got rid of it my mother actually used to be my mother's it smells like my mother which is weird because it's been washed but it's probably the smell of her laundry detergent do you guys have that? Like when I, there's certain scents I can smell and they make me think my dad's parents' bathroom. It always smell like roses. Uh, so Jill also said, I went, it must be to my grandson's graduation in Indiana. So excited to see them at the source in the big city, but caught COVID and had to isolate mild case, thankfully. Oh, I'm so, I'm, well, first of all, I'm very thankful it's a mild case. That's amazing. I'm um, just curious if you're vaccinated because people that have been vaccinated, I have seen that they have really had mild cases. And, um, but I'm sorry, we had friends of ours did not end up camping with us. They camped at another campground, like I don't know, five miles away, if that. 
And my husband and my brother went and visited them twice when they were out fishing. They stopped by their campground and visited them. And they texted my husband last night and said their whole family tested positive for COVID last night. So now my husband has called my brother and said, hey, if you start to get sick, just letting you know, this is, you know, test for COVID. And now we got to keep an eye on my husband, make sure he doesn't start to get any symptoms. I'm like, we got it. the timing would be horrible if he was to get it in like a week. It would be horrible. So we'll see. I'm like, yeah, maybe we should like limit our exposure to other people just in case. Um, so the friends that got it, they do, they have not been vaccinated. They're the uh, some of the holdouts that refuse to get vaccinated. Now they've had COVID before their whole family. So their their whole thing was, oh, we've already had it. So. All right, so let me grab the address for this. Oh, it's going to Tennessee. It's going to someone's on Bonanza. So I'll use Pirate Ship when I ship. I wish that Bonanza would, uh, or Pirate Ship would incorporate Bonanza into their stuff. That would be really cool. But it's easy enough to copy and paste it. I don't know why they always put their phone number. I guess it's good if you're, you're shipping like UPS or something. Let me go in and change this. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy that you are not that sick from it. you got a mild case. I told you guys, my mom, my both sisters, my brother-in-law, my niece, my niece, over different times. And uh, a few of them had it at the same time. But they all had very mild cases. Really thankful for that. Maybe this last strain is just with people being vaccinated. Maybe it's just losing its potency, which that would be a really good. Um, all right. So you were vaccinated and boosted. Yeah. Good. I think that probably is making a difference. We'll see. It'd be interesting to see. Hopefully not very sick. Right? I'm, not, I'm not trying to prove any point. That's for sure. I don't wish ill on anybody. Um, I'm hoping that they are not not very sick, especially if they got kids. Their kids have got their kids have it. Um, I know, and this is a holdout. You know, Anissa, I am all for choice and you choosing to hold out or or not to hold out. Like that's that's all for you. You're actually wondering if my husband has it again. Oh, that stinks. I hope he doesn't. Like, I mean, if you got the symptoms. Whether you say it's COVID or the flu or whatever, like doesn't matter. You got you're dealing with the symptoms of it, so um, it's just good if you can at least identify what it is. Uh, okay, where was that Bonanza? Oh, I gotta put in the tracking number. Hold on, I almost forgot. I gotta go say I shipped it. Mark as shipped. So I really don't understand people who get off from paying every now and then like this weekend I got a notification I got a payment through PayPal and I was like oh it's either Bonanza or my website my Shopify and next thing I know I checked my email and it said oh got a Bonanza order I'm like okay cool so that's not so bad all right so next I got Poshmark and this one I actually already kind of boxed because I wanted to make sure I had a box that fit so I didn't have to get up with my short shirt on <laughs> look like I'm wearing a crop top uh so this is actually a my, my microphone right here says set. I picked these up on clearance at Lowe's and my in-laws, I actually had given them a set for their new new place and it didn't end up working, working out. Like it didn't fit or I can't remember why, but they gave it back to me. So I increased my number from selling two to three. And this is my last one sold. I had somebody came and bought two sets of them. And then this is my last one. This sold for $60 on Poshmark. I think it's like 48 bucks after fees. And I think 21 something. Grab my tape. Oh, it fell down. I need to remember to go to BJ's and pick up some more of these scotch, scotch tape. I told you guys it's on sale right now. I 
gosh, it might be. Today's the 31st, right? So it might be the last day today. I'm going to have to check and see. I might have to order online. Well, that's usually my casino day, and BJ's is on the way to the casino. So what's nice about Poshmark, for those who aren't on Poshmark, is you just ship stuff in priority mail boxes. Everything is priority mail on Poshmark. And you don't have to really, I mean, you have to weigh it because you have to say, but it's not, you know, you don't have to put in the weight. So as long as it weighs under like five or six pounds, it's one rate and then above that yet. I forgot to open my email because you got to go to your email to get your labels, which I don't like. I like on Macari that I can print the label right from the Macari page. Oh, I just sold something. Oh, I sold something else on Poshmark at 937, like literally just now. Reminder to ship your Poshmark order. Listen, lady. Lady man, Poshmark, it was a weekend. A holiday weekend. All right, this is going to Andy in Groveland, Florida. So five pounds. You have up to five pounds. Well, well that went on crooked. I guess I'll have to get up and get that later. Something that just sold a board game, and that's good because I can use some of my flat rate large that I like never use. Okay, I'm trying to find the other label. So I did take an offer on this next item. Let me just print the label since I'm on the screen. And I'll go back and show you. So I took an offer of 10 bucks. So I actually end up, I think I only make like, I don't know, 10, 10, not 10, 10, like a dollar or two. Uh, so it's Eastern Mountain Sports. It's a tank top. Go. So it was brand new, $24.99 with tags. I sold it for $10, took a best offer. I picked these up in probably January of 2020, I was doing online arbitrage a lot through tactical arbitrage. And I bought a bunch of these, sent them to Amazon. They, I ended up pulling them back because they didn't sell. And here I still have some. So now I'm like, well, might as well get rid of them. And even if I break even right here. Um, I told him to go to the nurse at work and see, we just had a funeral for my aunt on Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry about your aunt. Uh, your aunt passed a while ago though, right? Like a couple weeks ago, she passed of a brain tumor. So not COVID related, but a gathering of people nonetheless. Yeah. So my sister who in my family, I feel like besides my niece, my niece got it. And then a couple weeks later, my sister got it. Uh, um, she or a different mother than my other sister, she got it and she's pretty sure she got it at a funeral. Because you're at a funeral, this it was actually a high school friend that had passed, and so she was, you know, you're hugging all your friends who you haven't seen in a really long time. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. All that close proximity. Oh, I don't think I told you guys last Tuesday I went. I was I just want to put a piece of where my dad my dad's grave grave what's it called headstone where my dad's headstone is he's not there because he's in an urn at my ma's house but their headstone is there with it's got to be really weird to see your name on a headstone so because my mom's on the other side and she already has her name and her birth year on it uh, so I went and planted flowers for for them, my grandparents, so my mom's parents, and then my mom's grandparents. They're all in the ones all them. It was really nice. I played. My dad loved Alabama, and I played Alabama, and I sang really loud. Like I didn't care. 
<laughs> wanted to make sure you could hear me. And I sang while I was planting everything. And this one older lady came while I was doing it. She came to just clean off the grave sites that she maintains. And I walked over and asked her if she wanted some bark mulch. I don't think I told you you guys that on monday and i went over and asked her if she wanted the extra bark mulch that we had because we didn't need the whole bag and she said she was unfortunately i'm not allowed to plant flowers here i said you're not allowed because i'm thinking oh my gosh am i planting flowers and i'm not supposed to and she says her family doesn't allow her to plant flowers she seemed really sad about it which i felt very bad for her that she wasn't able to plant flowers bummer okay so Got your earnings from underwear. Okay. Just want to go back up because I have that board game I sold. I'm going to refresh that screen. And we can close out Bonanza because we marked that. And next we have eBay. I'm going to just going to grab as we go along. So something I sold on eBay. Uh, may, actually, why don't I just do one of them now? So I could because I want to talk about it. So last year. I picked up some stuff on clearance at Walmart when I was still at for Amazon. And I packed, picked up some stuff and I was like, when's this movie coming out? How many of you went and saw Top Gun? So I'm like, when is this movie coming out? Well, they had, so I picked up these were full price, but I picked up some Maverick um, glasses and I don't think I picked much else up, but there was a ton of stuff that was on clearance for a dollar at one point. And um, these were full price at $4.97. Well, I had had them listed and they didn't sell. And I really wasn't paying attention to how many times was something released in a store. So Walmart got all these in anticipation for the movie to be released but the movie never got released when it was supposed to. And all of these things ended up going on clearance and clearancing out. And now the movie's released and there's probably not any of these toys. So people are turning to places like eBay and I sold this one. And when I sold it, I said, Oh my gosh, I have some Top Gun Maverick items listed. So I did a search for the word to another one of these and I raised the price. So that one I sold for $11 because I had dropped the price in January because I had had it listed for over a year. And then when I realized what was going on, I raised the price to $18 and sold the other one for 18 bucks. So two of them, one went for 11 and one I raised the price to 18. So I'm glad I did that. Now I wish I would have bought more. I wish I would have realized that the reason why they were clearing was the movie had for people who sand grab those and just hung on to them, like that they're probably doing very well right now with those items. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. Probably want to box them. I don't think I have any more. What size are these? Oh, those are the fours and fours. These are four fours. What are you? I need eight six fours. Oh, I'm gonna have to go grab eight six fours. I'll be right back. I gotta grab some boxes. I'm going to put this right here because my shirt is short. <laughs> I use the boxes as a prop. Okay. These are both eBay, so I can use my eBay boxes. Okay. So I'm going to box these because some people will co collect them. Um, otherwise, I could like poly bag them, but just in case they are a collector's item. Should have used my eBay tape. I'm 
Oh yeah, that fits a little too tall. Let me see if I throw in some air pockets. I mean, I'm guessing they probably haven't come out with any new Top Gun toys. Has anybody seen any in the store? Because I don't know how many younger people are seeing this movie, but all, I feel like every one of my high school friends has gone to see this movie. It has been incredible. Everybody's posting. And I'm like, I want to go see it. All right, six ounces. Oh, itch. Oh, hey, I was right. I put down six ounces. See, it's an eight. Three seventy nine for shipping. This is going to Matt in Maryland. All right, Matt, enjoy your. Top Gun, the ultimate long tail item. I know it's, man, oh, I just kicked myself for not picking up more. I should do a Top Gun search and see. Like Top Thing, it was better than the first movie. Right, here's another one. It's perfect in there, by the way. Just need to add some poof poof. I guess it's not perfect if you gotta add something. I guess gotta add a couple of these. Keep it from moving too much. Back to orders. I see most people were having issues with um, eBay sales this weekend. Group I'm in people. Of course, even people who normally have sales were saying sales were low. But, you know, with eBay, I think part of it is obviously like the recession we're starting to go in. Inflation is just ridiculous. Gas is hitting $5 a gallon here. We, my husband's got to follow up. I think he's still sleeping. I got to wake him up soon. But um, we had the oil man came last week and filled our oil tank. And I went and grabbed the bill off the front door and it was 1200 and something dollars. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I looked and last time he filled it was in March, just before we went on our trip. And I'm like, we haven't even really been home for two months. No heat, pretty much just hot water, but we even haven't even been home for using much hot water. Like, why is our, our oil bill so high? Like, but it, it was also that we'd used a lot of oil. Now our oil is up to almost $6 a gallon. But I figured, and I'm like, but even then, it's really concerned about this winter for people who are low income. Because I know there's programs to help, but this is like, it's going to be really, really tough this winter for people who are struggling. And thankfully we could pay our bills, but still, I mean, like, I don't want to waste it on oil. And then my husband actually called a, a company to come in and take a look at our furnace because we, we think something's wrong with the furnace. Because in, I think it was January, I went to take a shower one morning and there was no hot water, heat with wood through the winter. And so he went down and he checked. He's like, we got no oil. Our tank is empty. Like, why is our tank empty? Like, we should not be, have gone through that much oil. And he called the company and he's like, what's going on? How come you're not coming and filling us up before we go empty? And he kind of gave him a hard time because normally we're on a schedule and they come in because they, they calculate how many cold days and all this other stuff. So they came and filled us up. It was expensive, like a thousand bucks then. Right. And then it was like, we don't pay that much. We don't even pay the 1200 in like a whole year. And here we did it January, March and June or May, January, March and May. So he came down and looked at it and he goes, man, there's a lot of soot. He goes, and I heard the, like the furnace was running when he came down and nobody was running any hot water or any water period. He's like, there's no reason why it's some, something's not right. So 
Of course, for something to go wrong with a furnace, at least it's not in the middle of the winter, but for it to like break all together something man it's been a costly mistake for us to not have picked up on it that it could that could be the problem in january and then again in march but you know my in-laws were living here and we just kept saying i kept saying wow i didn't realize that we were going through so much i knew we kept the heat higher and um and you know other people were taking showers than normally take showers so i kind of was blaming it on that but still it shouldn't have been that much so now hindsight looking back it's like yeah we should have had them come in january and take a look at it so all right there's the other so yeah i think that's all kind of impacting sales i think at the beginning as st stuff started getting really bad like we've been dealing with this for a while right a couple years inflation is just really starting to pick up last year has been for the last 12 months has been really tough gas prices are continually been going up supply chain issues are going up um i have my sister-in-law was telling me about somebody she knows who's they shut down they they run a trucking business and the the fuel diesel prices are so high ridiculous they ended up shutting down their business so she goes we're dealing with supply chain issues before we're gonna it's gonna be worse in the future because we've got companies closing their doors because of the cost of fuel which is just crazy no wonder the prices of everything is going up because the fuel just plays a role in so much all right i sold these pens I picked these up at TJ Maxx. I really thought they would sell a lot faster because there's a huge Aaron Condren following. Uh, I still got seven of these left. I'll uh, I paid $3.99. Uh, I don't know. I probably will drop their price even more just to kind of clear them out. I don't want them to dry out. Um, I want to use these, but again, I wish that I had some smaller ones. Tomorrow is not the start of a quarter, is it? January, February, March, April, May, June. No. I got to wait another whole month before I can use a, a, an eBay. Diesel is $609 here. Yes, it, diesel is so expensive. We, I've just been floored every time we were traveling. Anytime I go to the gas pump and I see how much diesel is. It's gone up at a rate higher than gas, normal gasoline has. Okay. You know, they call essential workers um, ambulance, you know, EMTs, all that are essential. To me, essential is um well i guess they were even saying thank you to essential workers for like your grocery store clerks and stuff but man truck drivers they are so on the top of my essential right now three ounces at least i saved a little bit on shipping because they paid 417 or 415 and it cost 386 so that's good Let's go into Alaska. I like when people put their P.O. box and their home address on their label. That way, no matter how you ship, it could get there. I had my root canal last week. That was fun. Actually, it wasn't that bad. And the lady was very nice. I told her she's my first female dentist I've ever gone to. In 54 years, my first female dentist. She was very nice. Uh, let's see. I sold. So I sold some stuff I listed recently. Uh, I sold this hat, this Paul Smith hat. I bought it actually for my brother because he went to this college. I was like, well, I paid 50 cents for it. Somebody sent me an offer for $9.50. And I said, I'll take it. It's not something that you would have a large amount of people wanting this specific hat right because it's a very small college in the adirondacks so it's not like it's um you know a dallas cowboys hat or something like that mm, that's 
Let's see if that fits in one of these. So, oh, Anissa has, <laughs> she says pathetic. It, I mean, I don't know what you normally have. I feel like it's read in line of what you normally have, though, isn't it? Having seven sales. My sales have been, you know, in line with what I would expect because I'm not putting much effort into it. Uh, so if I had seven, I probably would have been like, yeah, I'm all right with seven because I'm just not really doing much with my store right now. My brother was identified as an essential worker. He is a dispatcher for UPS big trucks to companies. Yeah. Well, good. I'm so glad that they have identified those people as essential workers. So my brother-in-law works, I think I told you guys, works for Coca-Cola. He's a delivery person. He used to be a manager for the drivers. He is now a delivery, back to being the delivery person. And because they were short staffed and he's been doing that for the last few years. And he's at the age where he, he could retire the internet, by the way. Anybody know? My numbers have just been going really crazy this morning. Only down to four of you watching, and that just seems incredibly low from what's normally here. Um, either that or y'all bored with what I'm selling, which I can see. No, nothing exciting for sales this week. Uh, so my brother-in-law works for Coke, and he can retire. Um, part of his retirement. Retirement, UPS or FedEx, one of them, UPS or FedEx, have been really trying to recruit him. He's been recruited. Of course, he is a social butterfly, and he knows so many people in so many different realms of, of things. But a lot of people have been um, trying to recruit him because he has a CDL, and there's a huge, huge shortage of CDLs right now, at least in our area. I'm assuming it's probably nationwide. And pretty much can ask whatever he wants for price. And so he's been debating on retiring from his full. One of the one of the jobs he has is driving the UPS trucks, the, the, the big trucks. And all he's got to do, he doesn't have to lift anything. He just has to drive, hook up the truck. What is that called? Why am I like, I can't even think of the words today. But he has to just hook up the big truck to the cab and pull away and drop it off and unhook it and go. That's like all he's got to do. And so he's really thinking about it. Oh my God. Sending this hat, this Paul Smith college hat to Paul Smith, like a person, his name is Paul Smith and he lives in Kansas. <laughs> That's funny. He's like, I can get a hat with my name on it. I got my own college. So it's probably not somebody who went to Paul Smith's, but he's wearing it because it has his name. That's pretty cool. My brother has been hiring truck drivers looking for experienced folks. Yeah, they've been real. I mean, they're like, you even tell us your hours. Like you can say, hey, yeah, I only will take it. Um, so I'm like, what is your drawback? From retiring right now from from coke if there's no benefit for you to stay with coke then why would you not leave and start drawing that and then go get something else where you can make more money than you're making now or make the same money but work a lot less hours uh you know so many people in our life have seen what tony and i are able to do and we're so incredibly grateful for the life that we live and what we we're able to do it and they see us and I think a lot of them are just I, I hate to say jealous because it always has like a negative connotation to it but um I think people are just like oh my gosh we want to do that like we know I don't want to wait till I'm 65 to go do those things I want to be able to do them now in my 50s when I still have the energy and whatever and um so I think that a lot of people in our life who are involved in our life are like oh my gosh we're gonna try and be more like Tamara and Tony because it's really unfortunate as as I'm getting older and as Tony and I are getting older we, I mean our family members are dying our friends like there's just 
so much sadness around us at times because we're getting to the age where people get sick and they die and it's been a struggle. So we're just like, Hey, listen, if you can fit in a weekend away, if you can take a week off and go do something, um, you know, we were both working full time when we took off and did two weeks on route 66. It's like fit those things. Things in now your bucket list find a way to be able to do those now don't wait till tomorrow because you may not have tomorrow to do them one of you especially if it's a couple like tony and i one of you may not be here tomorrow all right so right we learned that when we were doing one of our bucket lists last year and my husband had a heart attack while we were doing the bucket list uh so i sold this halogen track head as you can see the box damaged um i had plus i had a sticker on it from the store this was home depot um so i figured i would get some of them like this came really damaged and i said i'm just gonna throw it up on ebay and the picture has it with it with it ripped and so forth so i paid five bucks sold it for 15. Um, i did have some that were still in really good condition and they ended up going to amazon but any that had this type of damage i kept i kept back let's see i think these might go in gosh i got this listed as as first class there's no way there's what was i thinking it's one pound before i even box it let's try see if it fits in one of these are you gonna fit no i think we're gonna go with a shoe box we had to convince his boss to hire older guys with experience yeah because a lot that have experience and there's a lot of older people who don't want to stop working but just maybe want to work part-time and they want to draw their retirement still keep doing what they're doing uh like my father-in-law he was eight almost well he's 82 right now he was 79 so he worked up until 2020 when COVID hit and then he had to stop working because the place he worked he drove like a tour bus around if anybody's ever been to vermont there's a place called shelburne farms I'm trying to think but it's a beautiful farm and you can go and tour it they've got like a beautiful inn uh it just there's like also it's like a big destination around in vermont for people going uh tourists go and, and visit so he went uh so he used to drive the tour bus around which is great for him he's a social butterfly okay, this fits in here perfect i'm going to like perfect as in like look perfect i'm just going to cut it down so it's not so tall so maybe I can get some good cubic rate. For him, he loved it. He would work part-time and get to keep socializing. It brought in, you know, money. He's not one just to sit around. He goes crazy sitting around. I learned that when he lived with us this winter. Um, he finds work. He's, he's got to find some busy work. He's a busy body. Got to go, got to find something to go do. So it worked really well for him to continue to work. Um, of course, now he's not because he's here, but he's got a new to him house. Actually, I think today or tomorrow, they're going to go pick up a new tractor for him. So that'll be good. Give him something to do on that regard. Trim, trim, trim. So that's great for people to look at retired folks who still want to dance. And I hate to say it, not only the experience, but the reliability. Because there are a lot of people of, of the gener of the younger generation that maybe aren't as reliable or still trying to find their way so maybe they're reliable and they show up but then after a while they're like yeah this isn't for me so they quit that's what 
I've been hearing in the RV industry, the people for manufacturing, that's what they're dealing with. Jobs right now that are available. Which still makes me wonder. I don't think the number of new jobs has really increased. It's just places closed down during COVID. And then when they opened back up, there were job openings. And I don't know where all the workers have gone. But there's a lot of a lot of jobs. But somehow there's not very many workers. Maybe they're doing what we're doing. Maybe they're sitting at home watching me package because they're reselling now. So here's my box. I cut this down perfect size and it should be about one two no one one four four it's one three two but let's find out how big this box is though because it's been cut let's do eight uh, six five eight six five so priority mail envelope yeah i don't think so i might have to go with pirate ship uh 824 let's go check pirate ship just to see because people have been saying so deborah in maine i gotta go find you find you find you there you are and i said 86414 you get that eight six four one four there's a fair amount of construction going on near me tornado that hit in december yes i'm sure there's a lot of work to be done to fix all that stuff huh all right cubic so parcel select ground is the cheapest which i can't do because i used a priority mailbox the cheapest ups ground is 810 which again i used the box priority mail cubic is 827 but through ebay it's 824 it's actually three cents cheaper to still ship through ebay so i'm gonna go through ebay you know what stinks though is they only paid like five something i think because i was off on my measurements still made money but not as much That's okay. okay. Except if you only have a few orders, losing money on shipping is never a good thing. All right, I sold a book. Oh my gosh, Holly, I was so I after we went garage sailing, we went into some like antique mall flea market, indoor flea market places where people rent booths. I never know what to call them because it used to be called antique malls, but they're not all it's not mostly antique stuff in them. And they had one section had a whole bunch of said something about it. And I'm like, oh, I know somebody who sells silverware. She'd probably have a ball going through that because everything was a quarter. You could buy like a quarter for every fork, spoon or whatever. Um, I said, but I don't know enough about it. So I didn't even take the time. Uh, probably if I went through and looked for stuff that was like silver or whatever. But, all right. So I sold this book, The Inner Voice. I don't know. It was Amazon at one time. So I think what happened was I went to a garage sale like a couple years ago. I think I'm on of books on clearance or not on clearance, but in the free box. And I grabbed a ton of it. Although this does say I paid two dollars. No, wrong item. It doesn't say. So I bet you this was part of the free things. I sold this for eight dollars. I bet you that's where it was in the free stuff. I'll grab a book in the free pile because anytime I can grab a book in a free pile, I can get it back here and find out it's either worth money or not worth money. If it's not worth money, just donate it. You just list it, give it a little while. If it doesn't sell, then you can donate it. Oh, I was hoping it would fit, but it's too, too big big to go in my scrap so i'll put it in its own envelope good morning maggie doodle yeah my yankee doodle dandy yankee doodle boodle boy 
Probably messing up the words on that one. Hey, one time since I've sang that song. All right. It's going to go medium ale, anyhow. Um, 16. Ah, well, let me put 16 in here. Zero. I'll put 15. It's the same rate. Anyhow. Medium mail, 319, first class, 611. Okay, you're going to stay media mail. Where are you going? Anyhow, Colorado. Littleton. Maybe Tamara can help you with your pool question. I don't know if I can help you with it, though, because I don't really do anything with my pool, but look at it. But I watched my husband. I watched my pool boy. My husband is the one who pretty much takes care of it. Yesterday, I was in the RV. We got back from camping, and I just heard this. Like I thought it was really windy out, and I'm looking. I'm like, the trees aren't moving. So I opened the, the RV door to take the – I was emptying out the refrigerator from the pool side. And I'm like, oh, we have a hole somewhere in our, our hose or something. It is just uh, spraying everywhere. So I called to my husband and he was in the maple shack shack. And I said, the water and the pool is spooling all over. He goes, I know. I said, what do we got a hole, a hole in the hose? And he goes, no. While we were gone, we got so much rain on Friday and Saturday that our pool was too full for the filter to work the way it needed to be. So he was actually draining water out of it. So he responded to my question. So I'm going to take a water sample to a pool store and see what they say. Oh, yeah, we do that all the time. Like probably at least every two weeks, my husband brings a sample. So this is this is the trick, though, right? So they don't charge at our place to do it. And then they'll say to him, oh, you need more. You need to put some shock in and you need, I don't know, whatever. I don't know. I don't even know what he gets. And he'll say, oh, okay, I got more more of that at home. Go buy it at Walmart or other places than it is at the pool place. Every now and then he'll, he'll buy something from the pool place just, you know, to kind of show patronage for all of the free stuff that they're doing, like checking our water every two weeks. So he'll come home and he'll throw shock in because sometimes we do. Like I have a huge thing of the chlorine tablets left over from last year and, and that kind of stuff. But he gets our water tested a lot. It will help if things start to get slimy, if it's green. Um, yeah, just. All, all right, I sold a Columbia shirt. I have had this shirt forever. It's so, this has been listed for so long. Um, it still has my old, like the paper that was looked like wood was my backdrop and so that's been a long time since I switched over to a white background was probably three pushing four years ago uh, but it's Columbia so this has been listed forever it's a 2x and I'm there goes my internet just burped I saw that hey you know what this is one thing I was complaining to my sister-in-law this weekend about. I said, I don't understand when it comes to women's clothing. If you've got a 2X women's, you have to change that drop down to, from regular to plus size and choose 2X. Why is it men don't have a plus size category? It's big to be a 2X tall. Otherwise, if it's just a 2X, a 3X, a 4X, Right, you can have a 4X shirt and it's considered regular size. Why is that? Men get away with that. We have to categorize, categorize ours as plus size, which doesn't bother me. I mean, hey, I am what I am. But all right, so this sold for eight bucks plus shipping. So it must be going far away because it's on the top of the rate of shipping. Ship that says, let's go into Tennessee yeah. because they're all in at like 15 something. Robbie in Inglewood, 
Tennessee bought this. Nine ounces. So this has been listed for so long, it didn't even have like the measurements. Back then you didn't even, for first class and stuff, you didn't have to put measurements. 572 shipping? Nope, 450. They paid 572. Because I had it being a little higher. See, you win some, you lose some when it comes to shipping. I lost a little on one, made a little on a couple today. Uh, all right, so my mistake was in thinking that part of the $350 for pool opening included getting the water to the right levels. Apparently not. Uh, I've never thought of that. But you're right. So uh, my husband opens our pool. Uh, he, so we used to, so we have like this net we put on our pool and it catches the leaves. But over time, the leaves just disintegrate into the pool, which really makes no sense to me why we even use it. Uh, he used to cover it last year. He covered it with like a pool cover. That's like a big tarp, but you know, pool cover. And he said he had more problems with that than he did just putting the leaf leaf catcher thing on it. And I don't know. He opened it really quickly and it really good. Uh, we bought a new pool filter last year. So we used to have the sand type. This one was different i don't i don't know how it was different but it ended up being it was broken and the guy ended up refunding my husband but he was able to like finagle it to, so it still kind of worked a little bit but then we bought a new pool filter at a garage sale for 30 bucks a couple weeks ago i'll have to ask if he's even tried and hooked that up yet i'm guessing probably no because we have been incredibly busy and he's been saying like we got to slow down like around the house because we're gone all the time which I'm like, yeah, let's just go. I don't care. Like we, we opened the pool. I'm like, why are we even opening the pool? We're not even going to be here to use it. But it's still open. Let's see. I think I'm going to try. The oh, no, I bet you that's going to be priority. So let's do this box. Let's do this box. So what did I sell? I sold two. Two bottles of butter, Calendula, tear free. You probably can't see. Oh, here we go. There you go. Shay, baby. So they're both bubble baths. Two set of the bubble bath. I had sold a lot of that on Amazon, and then I don't know why these didn't go to Amazon. Maybe, maybe the bubble bath wasn't a listing, but the shampoo and stuff was. But I was selling it on Amazon. It's bagged like Amazon. So. There's no sticker on it. Which means it's probably been a while. So this pack sold for $19. Yeah. I would try, okay, so getting the water to the right level. So I would definitely bring a sample in, probably what other people have said to you. Uh, and then just, you know, a lot of times it's just we need shock or, well, because I'm trying to think of what the, the other stuff is that we put in, all stuff you put in, like the chlorine tablets. I don't know. I don't know what it is that he uses. Um... Let's put these in. I think we might need more than that. Oh, it might be good. It's a little maybe too much movement. Let's see where you're going. Put some more in. Put some more in. Better be safe than sorry. It's going to Maine. I'll put a couple this way. There's been times in the past I've picked up uh on clearance, I've picked up baby food uh formula. And sold it on eBay. I wish I could find a good deal on that right now, but nobody can find baby formula anywhere. So tough. And what's the rumor of the neck shortage? Anybody know? So my brother and I were talking about just food shortage, and I said, you know, I've been trying so hard since I moved here. 
here to be a not be a hoarder of, you know in, but in a positive way of food and stuff like that like even before covid like just buy what i need for that week and that's it i said well if i was to if something was to happen and i couldn't buy food for a month like i wouldn't starve we got food but it would be like really oddball meals like it would so oh we'll have some you know hot dogs with a can of peas like it's not like it wouldn't be a normal meal that we would be eating it would be like weird stuff but we would st still have food to eat like and rice and some beans i could boil up and stuff like that um but so we were talking about but if you have essentials like if you have so right now i don't know if there's a shortage of di baby diapers adult diapers um if you have if you still have your menstrual period which i don't thankfully because it's been many, many years, almost 30 years since I've had that. But if you still have that, then it's something that you might want to think about stocking up on. Things that are a little more essential or maybe, uh, you know, like even if you ran out of shampoo, there's another shampoo, right? Or like that soap, there's another type of soap. Like there's not been a... Um, you, maybe you can't find like like baked beans, right? You can't find Grandma Brown baked beans, or they've been very hard to find since last year. But you can buy B and M baked beans, right? So there's stuff like that. I'm not going to stock up on. A, there's an alternative, and of course, if you have a baby and you're putting them in diaper cloth diapers, right? But, ugh. <laughs> they're messy who wants to deal with that but there's a, at least that option same with adults but if you're an adult that's wearing the diaper you probably don't want to wear a disposable uh, not a non-disposable right that you got to clean up yourself like that that wouldn't be fun um so i would say stock up if that's important to you like there is a supplement that i take for my neuropathy the alternative if i didn't take the supplement isn't that's on the border of being a narcotic and I don't want to take that so I live on the supplement that I take every day and I was telling my brother I'm like I probably should stock up to make sure I have a couple months supply maybe even more I mean seems like when we have a shortage the shortages can last multiple months like a lot of months so I'm kind of thinking about maybe I should stock up on that just in case i wouldn't want that to become a shortage that you can't find so my sister is a radiology technician i think we talked about this and the contrast the dye contrast to do those procedures there is a severe shortage of that right now like really bad and they are limiting anything that needs that like it's got to be almost like life or death for you so if you were in a car accident and they need to do a contrast to see whatever i don't even i don't even know like every time they do it like they did one for me when i had my mri they did an mri for my from my head to my um to my body that and then they were going to do a contrast one which they ended up not doing the contrast one but they were going to not this was prior to covid and um so like something like that probably would have been like non-essential so they wouldn't have done that in today's they would have been like we're not even going to do that we're just going to do a regular mri but there's some things you have to have the contrast to diagnose so there's a severe shortage so i would say like if there was ever going to be a shortage of something that's important to you then you really Again, when it comes to food, I think the fle there's flexibility, right? If I if I couldn't buy, like again last year I couldn't buy Grandma Brown baked beans. Well, that's all right. I just go a year without eating them. Two years, three years, whatever. I may never eat them again. There's something else I can eat. But if there's something like a supplement that's so important, then get them. All right. So this is they paid eight twenty. It's actually eight two pounds two. Point oh something. Two point oh seven. I have been gambling lately and doing just two pounds. Let me see what the difference is. Forty cents. I have been gambling, and thankfully they have not picked up on it. But I figure in the long run, it's worth taking a chance. 
and not always rounding up. But then if I got nailed with a bill, I would understand. I'm doing that with this one. I put it in at two pounds and it's 2.07. Post office makes so much money right now off of me. I think it's ridiculous. Some of the prices I have to pay to ship stuff, I'm just in disbelief at times how expensive it is. Other things, I'm like, that's all that cost? Like media mail, right? Speaking of media mail, that's what I got. I'll do that one next. Media mail, I'm just like, hey, good morning, Glenn, by the way. I saw you pop in while I was ranting and raving about supply shortages. Um, I'll pick this out, too. I just showed you guys these the other day, and I sold them. The Beverly Clearly a lot of books that I picked up at a garage sale. And I paid $3.50 for these because I think they were 50 cents a piece. Pretty sure these were 50 cents a piece. These were actually at a rummage sale for, for the church. Um, they only went for 10 bucks plus shipping because that's pretty much all they were going for. So, oh, UPS is delivering something from Amazon today. Speaking of Amazon, I do have... Um, or delivery, I have to bring that down. Thank you, Holly, for keep reminding me that I needed bubble wrap. She sent me they were having a sale at American Bubble Boy. I ended up going back to who I buy it from on eBay, or I mean Amazon, because I looked at the price and I could get twice as much through the ones I've been buying through Amazon. And I bought American Bubble Boy, I think, last time. I think the quality was maybe a little bit better, but not enough to pay twice the price. So I went back to um, I might put these in my 864 box because I think they will. I think these will fit perfect in here. Oh, yeah, these are gonna fit. These are gonna fit perfect. Yeah, I would get some extra supplements. I think that's what I gotta do because I've been having some pain in my hands lately. And I think I might start upping even how often I take the supplements. Because I usually just take it at night, and I think maybe if I took it during the day, my giving me like they've been really achy, and I'm pretty sure it's probably neuropathy in my hands because I normally just have it in my feet. Um, it's all signs of my diabetes, which my blood sugar is. I feel like it's under pretty good control. Well, at least my A1C is under pretty good control. I'm just not really sure why I keep getting this pain, but. I don't know. So frustrating. Oh my gosh, this is perfect in there. Um, I am just so frustrated with getting older and all the ailments that come with it. Oops, that broke off. This tape rips very easy. Hey, fishing and picking. So how is the hubby? Did they find anything with his heart? So first, I so much lately. He was out till, gosh, I think it was 930. I called him 930 or 10 last night. And I'm like, where are you? He goes, I'm on my way home. I'm like, where have you been? I thought maybe he stopped at a friend's and he just neglected to call me. Even though he called me at like, Maybe it was like 7 or 7.30 and he's like, oh, hey. I'm like, hi. He goes, oh, I got to let you go. My bobber is uh, going under. I'm like, okay. And I swore he ended it with, I'm fishing until dark. And ended up being, I guess he's, he told me, he said, I'm fishing in the dark. Even though it wasn't dark at that point. So, because I'm like, where are you? And um, I'm like, I thought maybe you had a heart attack or you slipped and hit your head or like, I don't know, you could be laying on the side of a river. I don't, I don't know where you are, but it's like really dark. It's been dark for like an hour and a half or so and um, almost two hours. And normally he's not like home that late. I'm like, why do you call me when it's not important? Hey, I'll be home late. Uh, anyway, he got home late. Um, but he, uh, so yeah, he's been fishing a lot. He started fishing when we went to, 
we were going to be camping on the St. Lawrence Seaway, the St. Lawrence River. And he goes, oh, I got rid of all my fishing rods to the Amish that came and put our deck on. They built a cupola for us. And he brought his kids one day and my husband gave him all his fishing poles and stuff. Not stuff, just the fishing poles. And so we went to Walmart and then like all into wanting to fish again, like big time into it. So how is he doing with his heart? So when we got back from our road trip after his heart attack, he was still having chest pain and he went to the doctors or went into the emergency room. Uh, the VA told him to go back to the emergency room and they did some more tests and they said, no, you're not having any chest pain. They actually probably, I think they called it angina. They, I think they said pretty much like heartburn. And which they said that they ran more tests and that there was no damage done to his heart at all from his heart attack. So that was really, really good news. Um, so he got on new medication. So he's real, he's like deathly allergic to statins. And so for he has really high uh, hereditary high cholesterol and he ended up um, switching to an injection called not Repatha, um, prevalent, I think maybe is the name of it. Uh, it's it's an injection, but it's really hard to give an, um, the stands need to not work for you or something for to even get approved for it because it's very expensive. Well, he's been doing that and his cholesterol numbers are amazing. So it's it's been good for me to see that. Uh, by the way, it's 445 to ship this very heavy box media mail. It's just crazy. I hope they never take that media mail away. Hey, good morning, Doyle Warehouse. So today my goal is, it's so warm out, it's been very humid, that I think I'm going to work down here. Um, I sold some things today that I had listed recently and I had to hunt for them. So I'm like, I've got to put this stuff away in totes. So remember I showed you guys this that I picked up last week? I showed you this imperial roman veterans so they are little plastic for those who weren't around i'll show you so they're like little plastic i don't know what you do with them but people collect them older people collect them uh, this one had some of them were partially missing so i was kind of bummed i paid two for it and i ended up taking a best offer of 17 dollars for the set uh, we went back and forth. They actually offered less, and I countered at 18. They countered at 17. And I thought, for a dollar, I'm not going to get into a pissing war with them. So I just went ahead and, even though it had only been listed for a week, I probably could have held out. That don't fit in there. That don't fit. What am I going to put you in? You know, the box is damaged. See how squished it is? And the box was damaged in my photos. It's going in here. If it gets squished, it was already squished. So I'm going to throw it in here. All right, seven ounces. 387 they paid 450 so that's not too bad right mate make a few bucks a few bucks a few pennies a few dimes do i have anything left oh i have a jacket which is down here i uh, sold this jacket that this was that Black Mountain. I'll show you the brand again. Black Mountain Outdoors. This one I paid five dollars for and sold it for thirty three sixty. And it was let it was listed like ten days maybe, well, maybe maybe two weeks. So they're all in at forty nine thirty five for this. Oh, I'm hoping it fits in the flat rate. Had it. Great. 
special. So they paid $12.29 in shipping because I didn't put padded. I just put regular priority price. So if we can get this in here, I'm going to have to fold it in half and then fold it in half. Where's it going? Oh, it's going to Arizona. Oh, and Arizona needs a, winter, a jacket. It's not winter, but who needs a jacket like this in Arizona right now? So I was listing jackets this national shipping yes every time because it's it's um when you're heading into winter in other parts of the world so although nobody probably is going to be buying a winter coat right now for me in the united states they will in other countries All right, this is going to be tough it's going to be tough to close this but what a huge savings shipping this in this Remember how for shipping because they've overpaid? And I haven't gotten one thank you, one comment from any of them. That's why I don't like to refund. At least say, hey, thanks. Thanks for the $8 refund. This one, no refund for you. Just like no soup for you. No refund for you. I'm going to do $8.20 for this shipping. Snowflake, Arizona is still cold 40s at night. Oh, really? Wonder where this is going to. Fountain Hills. I guess it has hills in the name. They're Twinkie in a snowball coffee cups. Hey, I have some of those. They're no longer listed, but if you'd like some, let me know. I paid like four bucks, four ninety nine, dollars I think, for a box of them. Shipping might be a little tough though, right? I'm not tough, but like higher because you're all the way in Idaho. Is that where you are? Idaho? Utah? I, I think it's Idaho. But they're not heavy individually. To like 15 ounces in one box, but two boxes would be over into the priority mail. All right, so I sold a game. I got to go grab it. It sold as I hit. Let's go live. And then I sold it. It is called an environment US America, an environmental game. An environmental game. Okay, I gotta over it. Oh, I boxed myself in. Why do I always do that? Where are you? I'm going to go get a a game box.
So I almost never use these boxes anymore. These are the large flat rate boxes. They call them the game boxes, but they're expensive to use. But this sale was on Poshmark. So whenever you can use a, a flat rate, especially if you have an overstock of them, these came over from Vermont with me. So it's been five years. I still have them. Uh, all right, it is Idaho. That's what I thought. Hey, hey, Tamara. Hey, John. I'll call you, JJ. Do you absolutely hate JJ? Oh, I just use eBay tape, and this is a Poshmark sale. This is what I sold. There you go. An environmental game, destination and science. So there is a UPC on this, but there's no like, like what the game looks like except for the front. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, rubber bands that I can wrap around this. I've been using bubble wrap. It doesn't need bubble wrap, but I've been putting around so I could tape it just so they, do they not make them anymore, John? Do they not make these anymore? If that's the case, do I need to sell them? Look at, they even have like a chess thing right here. Do I need to sell these on eBay? <laughs> I'm joking. All right, so I'm just gonna put it around this way so I can tape it. Just doing it like this. I'm going to tape it around it just so the game doesn't open and pieces end up all inside the box. That's the only reason why I'm using bubble wrap because I'm not really worried about it otherwise. I've got to use clear tape because this isn't Poshmark sale. Not eBay. There. Now it hopefully will keep it from opening and going all over the place. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I can't even remember the last time I used one of these. I think they were discontinued. Oh, they may have been. Because you know what? They're probably too long. Now, there's that. There's that a uh, surcharge you got to pay now. I wonder if Poshmark has upgraded or updated their like shipping terms saying you can't have something be more than like 14 inches or whatever. So what's this? This box is twenty three. So the outer dimensions is twenty four point. 0, 0.62 inches long is the outer. Isn't isn't that when the surcharge happens? Is 24? All right, inbox, prepaid, print. I mean, it just it says five pounds, but it doesn't say anything about length. This is going to oh nice, it's going to Monroe Country Day School. It's going to a school. Well, that's nice. They probably won't mind the eBay tape. Out. Okay, I think that is it for items that I sold. Do you guys want to see the few things I picked up this weekend? It was not very much. I have not picked up a lot. But I will show you what I grabbed. Actually, let me throw up. Oh, let me take this off from environmental isn't that what it was called environmental game i got to take it off from ebay and by environmental and listing and listing oh by the way i sold that for 15 dollars. so all right i will be right back again i'll be back
Okay, I've got... A stuff to show y'all. And y'all stayed around. Sorry, I had to run to the little girls' room. Sometimes nature calls. So I picked this up for a dollar. It's the North Face. Uh, it's one of their Denali. Hold on, let me find active listings. I'll tell you what I paid and what I listed them for. For this is their Denali. Um, I listed this for 58. It's in really good condition. I just need to take some lint off from it right now because it's linty, but stay. And then I got this jacket. Again, I got I picked up quite a few jackets and I'm like, hmm, make sure you do these international. So this brand is called HFX, which is uh I think it's Halif Halifax. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a really nice jacket. It is really good. Like the quality just feels really nice. Um, it is worn, so you can't see the HFX as much, but it does have this here. And it is a dual, uh, like a three-in-one jacket. So you can unzip this quilted interior and separate it from the windbreaker. Rainproof at thumb holes for people who like you know their thumb holes um, on the interior jacket but it's just very good brand this one was also no this was a size medium again I paid a dollar that one is listed for $48 and then another jacket so my sister-in-law I'm gonna share this with you guys here Share the screen. <coughs> All right, hold on. Stop sharing. It like gives that feedback and starts sh shaking. So this is the jacket. My sister-in-law put it on for me. She was my model. I was like, I think you would look so nice in this jacket. So I had her model it for me. And did um a front and back with her wearing it and then just hung it so that literally hung it on the back of a camping chair these are my fancy photos <laughs> i'm telling you guys i'm just getting stuff up maybe pictures but stuff is selling with these pictures of at camp so uh so this is the jacket I don't know. You saw it in the picture. It's it's really nice. Again, I paid a dollar for this one too. Different garage sales too. People are selling them for a buck. And got that one listed for 38. And then I saw this. And my internet was horrible, so I couldn't look it up. Uh, but it is like uh, my dog oh, it's mead. It's a zipper binder. It's not a trapper keeper, but it's got Garfield. And I did look at the back. It's from 2001. It has a slight smell to it. A slight musty smell. I didn't smell that earlier. But I can smell it slightly when it was right here next to my nose. So I'm probably going to have to air this out. Because I can slightly smell it. Uh, but it's brand new inside. It's got, uh, it's got a place to put pens over here stuff so i grabbed this this was four dollars and i thought oh, what the heck for a buck i mean for four dollars i'll take a chance i got home, got back looked it up i listed it for 42 dollars on the high side i will say was that a tioga i saw in the background what's a tioga Time about my camp, my uh, my RV. It's a Greyhawk, a Jayco. 
if that's what you're talking about in the background. Um, I don't think I listed this yet. I got pictures taken, but I haven't listed it because we ended up going to go get an ice cream cone. And this was the last thing I had left. So this was at a garage sale, Clinique. Brand new in the box. I'm assuming brand new. I mean, I don't know. It's the perfume, this roller ball. This is a roller ball. And then a lip gloss this is cream. But look at, look how liquidy the body cream is. So I need to disclose that, you know, like don't count this as a cream because it is not. It's very, very liquidy. I may do a video and show the video of this in my listing so they can see how, like it's not, I'm assuming it's not good anymore because it's very liquidy. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna, so the lip gloss is in the thing, so you can't tell if it's been used. Um, but this is full, the perfume is full. It doesn't smell that good, nothing I would be keeping. But, um, so I got this, I still have to price it. I paid it. Five dollars for this. It is the scent is happy. It says happy to share, but I think it's actually just happy because when you look down here, it says Clinique happy. Clinique happy. Yeah. So I I gotta still look that up, figure that out. And then I grab this. Yeah, the RV. So it is a it's a Jayco Greyhawk. Oh, that's just the sticker. So I grabbed this vintage creamer. Didn't really know much about this one, but she was asking 50 cents. And I thought, well, I'll just grab it and then look it up. And it was the same place where I got the Garfield. It's Chefware is the brand, uh, I say. So I grabbed this. It ended up not being worth much. I did list it for 21. Uh, so my sister-in-law was looking some stuff up as I was listing them and she saw one of these and they mentioned farmhouse decor and I thought oh my gosh that's a great keyword so I put farmhouse into that and I said it look great on your coffee bar because a lot of people who are decorating in farmhouse have a coffee bar um and then I grabbed some Tupperware here well, I do have a lid for this one. It's just down below. This one has a lid, same type of lid. It is, I ended up listing these as a pair um, just because they're kind of like the same style. They're the same height, but they are, this one is smaller. It will actually fit in it, which is how I just had it in the bag. So these are vintage Tupperware Handelier. So it's a 261 and a 262 um, drink. So I guess you would, you would, fill it with something just spaghetti or um someone even said like rice or something but you could pretty much put whatever you want in it uh, so i listed these two i paid a quarter a piece so 50 cents total and i listed it as 23 dollars it's really funny over the last few years i've been listing more and more of my stuff in whole dollar amounts so 23 instead of saying 22.99 and i was reading this article about how the trickery of somebody will pay $19.99 for something, only a penny difference. And, you know, I do notice there are people in my life, when you say, how much is that? If I sell something for $19.99, I would say it's $20. And there are people who say 19, that's what they, 19. I'm like, it's not 19, it's 20. It's closer to 20 than it is 19. So I don't know if my strategy of just saying $23 is good or if I should have done like $22.99. For a while I was doing $22.88 because right Walmart and they chose 88 cents. So I was doing even 88 cents or even 86 cents because I graduated in 1986. So I just I don't know it's just like 86. I, I do know some people who will list something at like 99 and then a month later, they'll drop it to 98, 97, 96, so they can keep track of how many months they've had it listed. Um, I just got some sandy, sandy dirt on this. But this thing I grabbed, I've never seen it before. I wasn't 
wasn't sure what it was. This little, um, this plastic piece right here, I don't know if you can see it right here, um, that came with it. And I was like, what is this? I said, it's like a pouring spout that you would put on it. I'm like, I've never seen that before. So I paid a 10 cents, no, a quarter for this. At that grad site, I paid something with 10 cents. I paid a quarter for this. Turns out it's actually for like maple syrup. Um, back before I have one of their older maple syrup ones. But this is old maple syrup, honey or whatever it said. I paid a quarter and I listed this for 15. It's tiny. But that, the comps were showing that. This I grabbed. Another Tupperware. So this lady was selling uh, her mother or his mother lived in this house for like 69 years, they said. And she had passed away and they were going through her stuff and they said they have a whole, oh, it's, it's gotten, I got to wipe these down. They got dirty. This, they said that they still have a whole basement they can't even walk in. My husband goes, did you, because he didn't even get out at the garage sales. He just sat in the car. He goes, did you tell them you'll call, you'll go in and, and help them through it? I'm like, no, I don't want to take that on. So I didn't. Uh, so I grabbed this little, like, um, you know, you'd put like, I for me, it'd be an orange juicer because it's not very big. And th oh, this I didn't end up listing. I paid a quarter for this also. And I think it was only worth like seven or or eight dollars south it is perfect size that so i've been buying i buy almond milk for here at the house and the other day we were having french toast at the campsite and i had to put some almond milk into a canning jar to bring with us and i thought well if i ever needed more than just a small canning jar it would be nice i could pour it in here and it will fit into the rv nicely like in the door because our refrigerator even though it's bigger than some rvs it's still not like you know residential size there's very limited space for tall stuff but something like this would fit but like a whole like i would never be able to fit a gallon of milk in that refrigerator it would take up so much space and it would be really hard to fit um lastly i grabbed and i need to do some research uh let me keep this out because i'm going to keep that I'll put these away. Just want to make some room here. I got to keep that out because I want to list it. So I don't forget. I feel like I'm missing something that I picked up. Hold on. Let me just look at my pictures. No. I'm not. I'm not missing anything. All right. So then I grabbed this. I think I might give it to my daughter. I haven't decided yet. I need to do a little more research. Again, it was at that garage sale. Her prices were so reasonable. Oh, I bought a lamp at that garage sale that's in the RV. Um, hold on. This is, it's like, clasp is like gone upside down, but whatever. So this necklace, it's actually a locket. Um, it's not center because this is messed up up here, but. It's got this little tassel, but as you can see, it's got what looks like diamonds. Let me see if this will, let me see if that'll make it show up better. There you go. So it's got like diamonds all around it. But they're, they're probably, most likely they're not real diamonds. But this garage sale would make you wonder if they really were diamonds and if um, the age of it could be old. There's no markings, so it is a locket. My grandmother gave me a locket that my grandfather gave her when they were in high school. And I'm like, you know, what if this is something like that? Because her locket doesn't have any name on it or anything. I have to take off so I'm pretty sure this chain didn't come with it the chain is like a silver color tone to it I'm hoping this can pull through ah, yes it pulled through because I want to fix this there we go now it's better now at least it like lines up um so the chain doesn't go with this I'd probably if I do end up selling it would sell it without a chain 
but there's no markings on it at all. It's just kind of pretty, you know, with the heart. I don't have a diamond tester. How do you test a diamond? How would I test this, find out if it's real, if they're real? I'm thinking they're not, but but before I sell it as not real, it'd be nice to test to find out if it is real. So again, I got this, um, trying to decide if I want to give it to my daughter. What I might do is put, if I keep, if I give it to her, I might take, put some pictures of maybe my husband and I in it or something. I don't know. It'd be interesting. I don't see any, like there's no, nothing on the chain that would make me think that this was, you know, anything special. So. That is all I got. That's pretty much it because I don't see anything else. I'm trying to think of what I bought to keep for ourselves besides the lamp. The lamp was cute. It wasn't very tall. It's it's in the RV as an end, end lamp. It's actually about this much too tall for the RV, but it's not a tall lamp. Um, I might I might end up taking I might end up selling that because it is a, just a little too big. Where I, every time I want to open my closet door on the side bed. I might get rid of it. But the um, the lampshade has got like painted birds, like a bird scene that's been painted on it. It's They're really, really cute. Uh, so I think I might get rid of that. Um, I think that's it. My brother, I know my brother bought some things, but I don't remember what he picked up. Well, that's it, folks. What are we at? We're not even hitting two hours today. That's what lack of sales does to one. Uh, his appointment. Look, I never even unlocked my watch today. 70 degrees out. He's got PT this morning. I was hoping he would bring my mail for me. So I have to find out what time if he's going to come right back. If he is, he can bring my mail. Otherwise, I guess I got to bring it, which I probably will have to bring it. Um, I hope you guys have a great week. I can't believe it's Tuesday. I'm hoping to go to the casino tomorrow. Hopefully I'll win some money. I did not win last week. I lost 300 last week, but I had won 300 the week before. And so if I go in, I mean, I'm still up for the year, but uh, it always makes me feel icky when I walk out where I didn't win, which thankfully it's not that often. And like I said, I'm still up way up for the year because I had those pretty big jackpots that I've had this year, which has really helped me a lot. Um, but man, I just, I love going there. I love just, I don't know what it is about. It just like takes your mind off from everything. Um, so that's it's good. So I did that and my husband came home from this rv he had something done to the rv and when he got home he said hey i'm gonna go to um i'm gonna go to aquasasni which is the name of the reservation he goes i'm gonna go to aquasasni and do some fishing this guy was telling me about this fishing spot and i said aquasasni i said why don't you drop me off at the casino you go fishing then you can pick me up when you're done so he did that he dropped me off at gosh i think it was like maybe four and then that which they were having like the from four to eight so at one point he called me i'm like well this hot seat gets done at eight i think it was like he was going to be here at 7 30 and i said well hot seat gets done at eight so he's he waited until eight to come and get me and then he came in and, and we ended up eating dinner i don't think we even sat down to eat until like nine o'clock at night um but we it was good we had a good time um and then on thursday he's like you're gonna go to the casino and i'm like no because we lost last night because when he comes and he plays, which he ended up playing after after we ate. So we played while we waited for our table. It cost me money because he never wins. And <coughs> excuse me, um, he never wins. And then if I go in with money, then he usually gets that same amount and he ends up losing it. So a lot of times when I say I lost, it's because he was with me and he lost my money. Uh, there's a gaming place near us just open. We might swing by sometime. Hey, I'm going to be going through Connecticut, uh, Kentucky in a couple weeks, by the way. Holly, um, people with us. So we won't be able to stop on the way down. But on the way back, Tony and I are trying to figure out how we want to come home. 
and like how long we want to stay along things. So if plans change for my trip back, I mean, I'd be love to if we could meet up and even have lunch or something. But I, you know, who knows what time we'll be going by. Um, what fish is your husband fishing for? So right now, I think he's mostly trying to catch carp. Uh, he's been catching bass, but it's not bass season. And so he lets, you know, lets them. I think my brother wants to bring him trout fishing um, down in Pulaski, New York. And I guess last night he was seeing a lot of gar. Um, i trying to think of, oh, crappy, whatever that is. I don't even know. I'm like, to me, who would want to catch something called crappy? Because it probably got its name because it's crap fish, right? Like a sunfish and there's not any meat on it. I don't even know what a crappy is. But I guess there's a lot of crappy. Crappy and um, and carp. Pretty boiled corn that we feed the, the deer. Uh, he boiled it to like re-add water to it. And he's been fishing with that. And here in New York, you can actually like chum bait your fish with corn. It's not legal in every state, but he looked it up and it is here in New York. So he'll throw out like, like, I don't know, a cup of the corn and it brings them around and then he throws in his hook with the corn on it. So he's been catching that. I did have, did I show you a picture? There was a picture. I don't know if I showed you guys last week, See if I can find it quickly. I don't know. I, I mean, I like when he takes his time and he wants to go out and fish. I'm all for it. It gets him out of my hair. So I can do what I want to do, which really has been just like list listing. Uh, so that was at the campsite last weekend. And he caught that carp. He goes... I I wish you would come down and fish there to photograph me, like, fighting a man. He enjoys the, the fight of it. I'm like, mm, no, no, I have no interest in fishing or any of that. All right, I saw a picture here I wanted to show you guys. Oh, so this was, this is my dad's. I was mentioning I went and planted some flowers. I ended up not centering them. I took the picture and I'm like, well, that's not very center. So this is my dad's and mom's. Um, plot also so this is my grandparent on his footstones so i put some flowers in between theirs of course once you know things are like immature right now so once they grow up it hopefully it'll fill in nicely and then that's my great grandmother and great grandfathers i planted those there so my um my aunt stopped by and watered them for me but i don't know it's just got to be weird to see a headstone that has your name on it right with my mother's headstone Linda. She hasn't been in here for a while, has she? She's been struggling with them, like really, really struggling. So yes, last week we were out to eat and there's this guy that's at one of the places that um, we were eating. So if anybody has ever watched Boss of the Swamp on YouTube, he used to live in this area where I live. And then he moved to, I think, I don't know if it's New Hampshire or Maine. Like, it's right in that area. And um, and he's he's got a really big YouTube following. And he looks like this guy. And my husband says, he must be visiting family. And I went to, to my brother, because my brother is a huge follower of his. Like, he pays for the Patreon and all that for his channel. So I took that picture. Um, all right, I guess that's it. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. I found, did I show you the squash mallow I found? He's huge. I think when I showed you stuff last week, he was upstairs. Like I didn't bring this down. Um, so I found a big squash mallow. I got him listed. And you know what? I don't think I showed you because it was all upstairs. I would have had to bring it down and then bring it back up. Like the Nike shoes. These Nikes, these were a dollar. I grabbed those. I didn't know anything about them, but I figured for a buck it was worth taking a chance. Um, they're the Nike Precision. In the On the tongue it says Nike Precision. They ended up not being worth a whole bunch, but they still had profit in them. 
it was um it was a fleece that was there it says yellowstone on it like the paramount tv show yellowstone so i grabbed that actually i was going to give it to my father-in-law but he's like i really don't need it and i grabbed this so oh i grabbed this old navy it was a wool shirt oh a quilted wool shirt from old navy but when i got it to take pictures there was was a bunch of buttons missing. I listed it anyhow and said there's buttons missing. And then I got a Woolrich shirt. This is Woolrich. She also had a Patagonia, but she wanted $15 for it. And I said, no, I don't want to pay $15 for it. So I got the Woolrich. And then this lot of Lego, city Legos. I grabbed this. Um, so ended up being, oh, so this was on Friday, showed you guys this, this was Thursday, there were garage sales on Thursday, and I went to this one, and there was no sign, but the garage door was open, and I was talking to my mom on the phone, and I'm like, I don't know if, the, if they're having it or not, so I pulled in, I got out, I'm like, well, her stuff is here on the table, it's got, some of it's got pricing on it. So I was talking to my mom while looking around and I'm like, well, if I find something, I'll, you know, I'll knock on the door. And this guy came through this like side door of the garage, not in, into the house, but a, another heard voices. I'm like, are you guys having your garage sale? And hey, Amy. And she, he goes, well, my wife kind of messed up the dates and it really doesn't start till tomorrow. And I said, well, if you don't mind, since I'm here, can I just take a look? Because I'm I'm not going to be back in the area tomorrow. And he was all right. He goes, but I don't know prices. Well, they had a shoebox full of those Legos. And I said, any idea how much you want for that? He called her because uh, she was had just left to run into town for something. And she said a dollar. So I'm like, I'll take it for a buck. Box. It's a, it looks like a, a wool army. I'm thinking a woman's belt. Um, so I grabbed that. I did a little research. Couldn't really find much on it, actually. I grabbed this purse. I'm pretty sure it's probably fake. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do with it. Uh, it says Kate Spade on it. I paid $2 for that. I can't find anything that looks like it. It's got a little bit of, like, wear. Wear. In certain, uh, it's probably not worth taking a chance and listing it and getting like a Vero or whatever. And then, oh, this lamp was at a garage sale. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a stone fireplace, but she wanted $25 for it. I ended up going to the car and looking it up and it's just not enough room there for me to, to pick it up. Uh, let's see. I think that may have been it. So in my Discord group, Goomba, the thrifting Goomba, had commented how he picked up some magazines this weekend. And there was this lot of the Conver, hold on, the Conver, Con, Conservationist uh, magazines. They were from the 50s and 60s, most of them, a couple 70s, but most were 50s and 60s. Like this one was 65. This one was from 68 so I see is on a board of envir environmental conversation I keep wanting to say conversational you know the word um so I asked him if he wanted them and he says well as long as they're you know not asking much it ended up being 10 cents a piece there was 40 of them so it cost four dollars and he grabbed those so he's got those come to find out they're actually worth selling like if I would have sold them in lots of five to ten or maybe put the years together uh, there definitely was some money in them. Not a huge amount, but, but enough where it would have been. Um, I think that's it. Just checking. Make sure I didn't forget something. Why did I take a picture of a house? Oh, I know. Um, so this is, if you don't follow me on Instagram, there's my RV right there. So 
fishing and picking. There you go. There's my gray hawk that I I got the potential problems. Yeah, that's what I feel. It's two bucks. I was thinking I might just keep it, use it. I don't know, see if anybody family wants it. Whatever. If not, I don't know what I'll do with it. Otherwise, um, I'm not really a, that type of bag holder. I I like my crossbody, so I'm not sure if I would actually use it. Oh, do you know what boss of the swamp real? He goes by JC. Oh, he does. I don't know what his name is. My, my brother would. Like I said, he's a Patreon. So, so you do you watch that channel? I don't think that's even his channel name, Boss of the Swamp. I think he goes by Boss of the Swamp, but I think his channel name is so, even something different, if I remember right. It's fun if you like homesteading, um, all that kind of stuff. I, um, you know, we watch him. Going fishing is keyword for going out to see your side chick. Kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know better than that with my husband. Yeah. I don't. That one even, that one even like make me even think that with fish. Yes, he did. When he came in, I think I was sleeping. And he said he got a fish. And I said, what did you do with it? And he, he said he already like. I say skin it, but that's what you do with deer. I don't know what you do with fillet it or whatever. He already did that and put it in the freezer or refrigerator, one or the other. So he did come home with something. Um, sorry, real name. Is it JC? I don't know what his name is. Uh, he he used to live probably about maybe five miles away is where he used to live. I didn't start following or even know about him until he'd already moved out of this area. Um, I think he still owns that property, though, if I remember correctly. All right. Well, that's it. I am going to bring this to the post office, and then I'm going to come back down. And all this stuff I've been showing you the last few weeks, uh, it's still sitting in their bags. So it's time to get them put into these totes. And it, plus, it'll clear up some of my space here, which will be really Really nice which I really walking area and then I'm actually thinking about working down here today it has been months plural since I've spent considerably amount of time down here literally do the show package turn this off and out of here uh, today I might I might even do some of my death pile I don't know we'll see we'll see but I want to clear up uh, some of the space right here it's getting a little too combobulated for my likings so will i be around next week i will yes because we are heading to new hampshire this weekend but our plans will be to be home on sunday night so i should be around monday morning that'll be my last monday for a couple weeks uh because we are heading to tennessee and uh, I don't know when we'll be back from that trip because we're thinking about extending our stay for that. Um, but either way, have a great one. See you guys later. Hey, you know what I need? I need to off with that has something to do with Yellow Brick Road. So if you guys ever come up with something great, leave it down in the comments. I would love to just kind of get some ideas of what I could use as my little signage, sign off, tagline or whatever for my channel. That'd be cool. All right. See you guys later. Bye.